review is on the JBL Balboa Sub 10. So you can see it right here. We're going to go over some of the features. Let's see if this is maybe the right speaker for your entertainment center, your music needs, and, and other things that you might need a subwoofer for. Speaker first, because it gives you an idea of what you, what you actually have in here. You have RCA inputs for line level in. You can put it uh, in phase, out of phase, 0 and 180 degrees. You've got your crossover. The crossover is at what frequency does the subwoofer kind of kick in. So right now I have it hit set at about 75. Is anything below that's where where it comes in. You have your volume switch. Um, the uh, the sub has 100 watts power, which may not sound like a whole heck of a lot, but it actually is quite a bit of power. So um, it does have a um, pretty good little kick to it. Inputs in here for subwoofer. And this is so this the speaker actually performs in stereo. So typically your your output from your stereo is going to have one. So you're going to need to buy something like this, which is a splitter where you can put it into both the left and right channels so your subwoofer will act in stereo. So keep that in mind, you will need to buy a RCA splitter such as this. Yeah, the speaker itself is fired directly down, so you have uh, no protection here, no kind of grating on the bottom of the speaker, so you have to be careful if you, you go to grab the thing to move it that you don't stick your finger or something through the, the actual subwoofer itself. So keep that in mind. Again, you'll notice this is 10 inches. And we'll get a little bit more detail about what that actually means here in a second. Down, the top of this is the port. This is where you get a lot of your bass response. So you have part of it going down, your frequency down, and then you have the port kicking out. So um, uh, people are, are commenting that it's kind of large. Well, in order to get the big uh, waves, frequency waves that are coming out in this low bass, the unit actually has to be relatively good size. So... Um, it's not out of proportion for what you would expect for, for a decent end uh, subwoofer. So it might be a, a little larger than you would want, but uh, to be honest, it's the size it needs to be. JBL Balboa Sub 10 does a very good job if you keep it within its expectations. Um, it is a 10 inch subwoofer, so therefore it, it performs as such. If you, if you want real deep, deep bass, if you're a fan of maybe Pass the Mic of the Beastie Boys or, or any kind of club music, um, and you like to listen to it real loud, this will probably underperform what you need. However, if you're using it as a uh, subwoofer for your home entertainment center, this is going to be more than enough. I think it's going to sound good. Um, uh, with most music options that you're going to play, unless you play it at very high volumes, um, this is going to work out uh, fantastic. Um, uh, other people have mentioned, you know, again, that's a little large, but I think it's the size it needs to be. So... Uh, in order to have good, accurate representation of low frequencies, you, you need to be able to move a fair amount of air, and that requires a fair, fairly large size box here. So um, I'm going to give it uh, five stars. I'm real happy with it. JBL makes a good product, and uh, uh, I look forward to listening to this for many years to come.